I'm trying to help I'm you. Not gonna I'm, not gonna I'm not going to lie. 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 The idea is I made parking free for a day in LA. Don't laugh. You're going to laugh. Your eyes are watering. <laughs> They're not watering. <laughs> what do I do after that? I hate you. I hate him. I, I actually, <laughs> with zero irony, I don't like you. <laughs> Man, bro looks like a security guard. No, they're not here. Yo, what are, what are you here, eating? Bro? What are you munching on, bro? It's called a munchkin. That's a bagel. My security guard has this huge coffee. Hey, what you, right yo, on. that's a big coffee, man. Okay, look we, need, we need to <laughs> intro it. This is my requirement for slime because he was late and he got coffee bears without telling I us. Start, I should start doing... Requirements for you when you're late. Yeah. They would they would yeah. stack up yeah. to like forty. And I feel shame, and I do them. Yeah, show but how, you show didn't think of it. Done. You didn't think of it. I thought of it. Look, this is a, this is great and all, but do not talk to me until I've had my coffee. Why did you say that? Why did you say, say that? that? Yeah, say I that? can't uh, cop to why I have to say that. <laughs> so I was late today, and I'm making him suffer by making him do punishments. Of punishments, and feeling which is shame. A boomer joke from a, a woman who works in accounting. <laughs> yeah, the chuggy core. Yeah, chuggy core. Oh. Oh, I love that word. Chuggy. You know, chuggy. You know it, the word itself is chuggy. Why? It's just out. Wait, what do you mean? Uh, that it's out. What does that mean? It's out amongst two. It it's out. out. It I don't know what he means. Oh, it can't, you can't say it. Well, it's because it, it, he can't. It's it's for our generation. It's for millennials. Do you have any chuggy friends? Because if you don't, I then totally you can't know. say yes, you that do. word. We're oh, chuggy you friends. Say Are it, you? We're yes. Have to, we have to actually have Archie. Yeah, bleep that's for all the times he says. Yeah. That. Yeah. <laughs> why, why can't I say? Because it's like if you were to say the n word. <laughs> uh, the hard Y, dude. That, that is really gross. Like that, that was weird. Really You're weird for that. Like you need a haircut. That, and he called before the pod. He called donut holes Timbits. Yeah. yeah. Let's talk about it. It's not donut holes. It's Munchkin. It was <laughs> called a Munchkin. It was funny. Which I think is offensive. There was this like three-way Spider-Man thing where Ludwig <laughs> walked up to my desk with the with the Timbits. He pulls out the <laughs> box. And I was like, oh, Timbits. Oh, Timbits he fucking take, And he hell. looks at me and he takes the box away. Dude, it, it, I was sitting like, outside of this argument because he's like, it's Munchkins, it's Tidbits, and it's like two colorblind people arguing if a Rubik's Cube is solved. And I'm like, you're both so wrong. <laughs> I love Duncan. I've been going to Duncan so much this past month. This is not sponsored content. You, it's not. You, it, it's literally like, what, why is it front and center? Get it out of here. No, no, no. It's, it's, <laughs> sorry. We need tape to cover the logo like a monitor. No, no, yeah. no, I, I want people to go to Duncan. I like going there because they treat me like a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is how that is how people in fucking we do that all the time and, you know, but, and, and nobody wants to be there and I'm like give me a coffee and they're like fine <laughs> and you, were, you got treated too good for too long at that old nice coffee shop yeah. where we used to live I'm, I'm ready to be treated like trash and what's funny is they treat you trash online as well because I tried to DoorDash it and I wanted to order Munchkins and you couldn't pick the flavors yeah because if you DoorDash if you DoorDash Dunkin' Donuts. So wait, you're, you're making the, the DoorDash person select the munchkins no, you no, want? No, no, no. Because they, <laughs> like it's some they, kind they, of box it, they box it before, and so the only what thing Dunkin' like? lets you do is, like, surprise me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, so that's so funny. You can order 50, and it's just all surprise me. You can order five, it's still surprise me. They just, me. like, shut, like, 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 take it, <laughs> like they're busting a table. The, the, uh, Matt, no worker at Dunkin' Donuts, they get to surprise me, and they're like, oh my god. I'm gonna yeah. pick the Come best on. five. No, like, it's just like, um, fucking get the munchies in the box. <laughs> you, pick, you, you pick 50 Fuck. of the same one for sure. Not everyone who works at Duncan's from Boston. What? No, but you have to That's do the action if you work there. That's, That's definitely not do. true. It's not They're true. Also, yeah, they do yeah, import them. It's not they true. bust in it's people from authentic. Boston. That's why, all every, the That's why every person at. A Tim Hortons has a Canadian accent. Yeah. Well, that's true because it's only in Canada. Like, if a guy from Saudi Arabia, born and raised, <laughs> ended up working at a Tim Hortons later yeah. in life, yeah, he'd have to turn it on, but yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he'd be talking all you know, he'd be talking like fucking Ricky from the trailer park. Oh, he, order some pepperoni. <laughs> He's got a good Canadian guy, <laughs> he does good voices. I hate that. I, I only do good pockets. I when you when you ask me to do a word, I'm not ready to say, I just I just like throw up on myself. Do you think uh, there if we opened a brothel for little people, mm. that that would be a good? This is basically we make money. This is like what Willy Wonka did. Who are the are the are the, are the clients little people or are the? It's <laughs> a great question, Aiden. Um, 
You know, Dude. that's 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 up to God. No, no, no it's up to us because we'd be good owners and we'd make sure it's not fetishists. So we I, we background check them. Like we would let tall people come through, but like only if it's like, hey, I'm just here to pipe, not because they're small. Because hey, no, I love pipe. no, no, where chasing. Would the, where would no the golden chasing. tickets be placed for a for a place like this? <laughs> like you wouldn't put them in chocolate <laughs> bars. Like, wouldn't, you wouldn't, no. like, that's a good point. We have to like put, them, put them in the lotto ticket machine outside the grocery <laughs> store. <laughs> like you this. Would, oh, I know. Well, okay, well, it's different. I you, guess you put it in the uh, the RC Cola slot of a vending machine. <laughs> it's like, who the fuck's pressing so someone that accidentally one? presses it. It's like <laughs> <laughs> I got a, I got a ticket to the the little people brothel. <laughs> <laughs> like like it's the fucking Ghibli museum. <laughs> It's a wax um, museum, but for little fuck, people dude, they, who are so, prostitutes. All the slots are sold out today. Fuck. <laughs> Do you think the madam could be like a slightly taller little person? No. She has to be a little taller. No. no. She has to be a little taller. Well, no, no, being a little shorter. To the, the height. Yeah, if fuck, anything, it should be a little yeah. shorter because it's not about the height because they can do anything. I, I hate, hate it. I, 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 I want to get out, actually. You want to get out of this I want to get out. I want to get out. Like, Old family bro. friendly YouTuber wants to Eject. get out. Eject. <laughs> bro, right. I, just, I just ordered half a laugh dance. That shit was crazy. <laughs> All right, Ludwig has hit the eject button. <laughs> we are now floating in the sky. <laughs> and oh, oh, parachute. Oh, you know what I was thinking about Whoa. before we did this? Because uh, you were saying about how you went to Warp Tour when you used to have long, luscious hair. Yeah, I used to look like <laughs> Scott Stapp from Creed. Uh, yeah, or uh, Kellen Quinn. And uh, what if they brought back I Heart Boobies bracelet, but they collabed it with, like, Ed Hardy? Would uh, that go? No. Is Ed Hardy ironic, ready to ironically be sick again? I think so. I think we're that we're at that point. Yeah, I think rhinestones have come back. <laughs> oh. I haven't understood a word you guys have said in so long. You don't know Ed Hardy? <laughs> no, I don't it's know. It's funny because I dress I like don't a know fucking Shell Silverstein from Creed. I Close don't your know. eyes. Close your eyes. <laughs> okay, imagine, bald. imagine a, a dad. Okay, he's a little scruffy. I'm thinking hair. of E Rob. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. That works. Yeah. Um, yeah. Actually, it does. Uh, work. Put a trucker hat on E Rob. He wears that already. Um, and then give him like a household income of like two hundred and twenty thousand dollars. I'm still thinking of E Rob. Yep. And then imagine he's wearing a shirt, and the shirt is covered with rhinestones in the shape of a dragon. Whoa. <laughs> that is Ed Hardy core. <laughs> I don't even understand and this guy it anymore. Still loses to Void at Park. <laughs> yeah, Ed Hardy. Yeah. <laughs> what a fucking shame. <laughs> I wish. I wish he was rocking some Ed Hardy shit, just walking around with like a. I'll bring it back. A big f flames collared shirt, and like at the back is like again like a dragon or like a. Is cool, this like true religion jeans? Like you a Google Ed Hardy. It's kind of like you would definitely see someone wearing trues and Ed Hardy for sure. Like a, like a like a rich dad. <laughs> Fuck yeah We looked at this on the podcast oh, a long yeah. time ago. Yeah. Right, right next to a hundred dollar bill Because Ed Hardy was a tattoo artist Right okay. So all Man. of it is like based in like American traditional this tattooing is just, Why is I there would wear that Wait how much was that How much did that cost Dude if If Aiden It was $55 If Aiden mm. came through with the Ed Hardy fit I would never make fun of him again Ed Hardy in the balloon pants Dude that, the Ed Hardy <laughs> The Ed Hardy track suit Dude You got the Ed Hardy fives The lows And then you got the 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 true religion Ed Hardy collab jeans. Yeah, you should you should always come with your zip up shirt and then, and then unzip it to reveal to yourself reveal like a every like week? a Ferrero Rocher yeah. with a fun surprise. Our, on our little side. Kinder egg. You could yeah you could write something every time. Our little Kinder Bueno. How Canadian of me. If, you know one of the cutest thing Aiden does if I was his girlfriend. Mm. Like not his girlfriend that he has now. Yeah. But like you know what I'm saying. Like I'm not all universe. Her. You are I'm, his sexual yeah. partner I'm and his lover. Sexual this partner is, and lover. This you is the off the back, no, by the way. At the you're, you're the one exploring his body. In the explore yeah, it. I'm feel, like a pioneer. Like you know all parts we're, of it. We were at the casino th this weekend, and in in the waiting line to get at the poker table, Anthony starts to explain to Miles in great detail <laughs> about how if he met a girl yeah. with. My body, <laughs> my personality, yeah. my general outlook on life, yeah. he would settle down with her. I think, I would like, I'd be like, you know what, I think I can marry her. <laughs> oh my god, we are in the good old days. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? So what? what, what, what I know what you're talking about. The poker about. room's so packed. What would huh? you it's so packed in the poker room. I'm just letting my friend know <laughs> that, that if, if I explored his body every inch, I would want to settle down with it. Yeah, that if he aligned with my sexual preference... Yeah. 
that I would I would marry him. Yeah. And become a dual citizen. <laughs> it's like when Stewie Griffin discovered gay people. <laughs> I never saw that episode. He's like, it's just dudes, and they hang out, and they like bang, and then Brian's like, yeah. He's like, that sounds great. Yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it's really nice. <laughs> and I'm like, you know what? Maybe it doesn't have to be a woman. And I said, yeah. I just go down I'm my never journey. considered. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay, but what I was going to say, uh, I lost the train of thought, but I do want to stay on this thread. I'm a pioneer for you. Okay. Right. Right. I'm like I'm like uh, I'm on the front you, range. You know, I am the Magellan of looking through the orifices of your body. Yeah. Do you ever notice I, how I'm like, when fire. slime says for you, it's never for them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's always for him. I'm going. To, uh, it's for the you that's in his head. Yeah. I'm going through all the moments like a film reel in my head right now. <laughs> it's okay. It, I remember now. I'm a statue for you now. One of the, cu- <laughs> one of the, one of the cutest things Aiden does. Is what he just did. What are you shrugging for? D- nothing. You're What's getting less cute. Getting less cute. Why am I cute? Why am I cute? It's not snapping at me like that. <laughs> <laughs> One of the cutest thing Aiden does is he'll like zip up his like uh, jacket or something like all the way. He'll do this. He'll put his shirt he'll get inside of it over his mouth and he'll get inside of it. Or he'll just be at his desk and he'll like, have his hood up and like like Kenny from South Park. Or he'll just be like he'll have his thing like up to his nose, just staring at his computer. And it's a very cute because he just does it. If you ever you ever just imagine he's eating a little granola bar in there, he's like. <laughs> <laughs> and Aiden doesn't do this for anyone else, but just because he like it. It's a coping. I think it's a coping mechanism. What are you coping with today? I do it when I get stressed. Stressed out. Are you stressed because we're leaving soon to Paris to Gay Paris? Slightly. What are we gonna fucking do? Uh, uh, I don't know. The guy who wishes he was born in Sweden. Is like, what are we gonna do in Europe? It's Paris, dude. We'll eat good food. It's Paris. I don't know. Uh, it's boring. Have you been oh. to Paris seven <laughs> times before? Oh, oh, oh. you let that happen. I just want to evoke a reaction. I, it's it's it Paris. Fine. Look, do you think gay Paris is boring? I, I, I think to <laughs> to, to, to one of you commoners, yeah. But to me, you didn't point at me. Like affluent, mm. right? Do you I'm need gonna, to like, be affluent to enjoy Paris. Yeah, well, you, I think I, it's going to be pretty navigable with your sister. Did you hit her up? It's cr- yeah, I, I, dude. Saying that I mean, sentence <laughs> is you're so not funny. hanging out with my sister. Yeah, he, uh, in our, in our he texted me back. In our group chat, Aiden was like, "Ludwig, can I have your sister's number?" Not a bit. <laughs> not a bit. <laughs> you know what? I realized when I texted the number after Anthony sent it to me, I realized that uh, you already, gave already it to had him? her number. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you, dude. He ne- what? That's lame. He came in my what? room. That's, holy that's shit. lame. That's, 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 that's not homie number. to me. That's not homie to me, no. dude. He's not. There is no intention to talk You're, to your Are you sister. calling him a foamy? That's a foamy move. How? Yo. Because you just gave up her number, narked it. I, straight up. I, fucking it's not as it. a resource to covet. Hey, oh, Here. a phone number's under. Oh, let's just read out Slime's phone number. It's not a resource to covet. Your sister's Everybody phone, at okay. home, your the Slime's phone number is eight. I don't actually know the rest. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't. But it is eight. Aiden, Aiden came to my room and he was like, I've invented a new sexy dance and I want to show Ludwig's sister. <laughs> oh, that, that did happen. I keep forgetting this. Yeah. You know why? Maybe like Wednesday Adams? What, what <laughs> is your... It's because he needed it needed work. That's why I keep forgetting. Yeah. And he but, showed me, and it does need work, but it's going. It's something new for sure. I've never seen it. Yeah. It's like a mixture of the hand jive and the dug. <laughs> I could say a hand job. <laughs> <laughs> He's just jerking himself off. Well, there's know, a lot of stages to it. The so. money's. <laughs> He's like, that was stage one. <laughs> it's like four minutes later. There's ten stages. V Money taught me the uh, the Bollywood dance move at David's the, wedding. The, the light bulb. Yeah. So yeah. you just you turn a light bulb with your hands, and then you you bring it down, and then you turn more. Ooh. Mm-hmm. And it's. And he's like, yeah, you're getting it, you're getting it, you're, you're it still white though. And I'm like, okay, Victor, thank you. I feel you. I'm saying I heart boobies and Montclair and Aiden spends $4,000 on it. You're, you're going to love Paris because you're just going to spend money. Me? Yeah. I, you know I've been there, right? Yeah. I hear you buying but a wardrobe. But you haven't been there since bus. you got a lot of bread. And I have. When'd he you has. go? He went, he went recently. Last, bro, I went a year ago. Yeah, he went a year ago. You're what, a bad friend. What was that? I took... Girlfriend there. You were, you were in Paris? We went to Paris yeah. and Switzerland. Wait, who was in Paris? Wait. Okay. <laughs> Into the question. Chugies. <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> Dude, Chugies in Paris. <laughs> that is the lamest parody all Dude. time. And they're just like deciding what what Harry Potter house they are. <laughs> when Weird Al drops that, it's over. <laughs> <laughs> they're talking about how much like they liked Rocco's modern life. Uh, did you guys hear about what happened yesterday? About that, why the internet went down? 
Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Are we? Do you know I, about are this? Are we allowed to talk about this? We can talk about it now. I think it's all resolved. We're gonna talk about We're it. We're gonna talk about it now. So okay. I, I did World's Greatest Gamer. Yingling called in a BT. He called in a, a <laughs> BT. Bluetooth. Right. A Bluetooth. Um, Bluetooth. No, it's a what is Bluetooth. It, what's a BT? A blunderbuss? What no, are you a, thinking? You it up? Up? If you have to call uh, it in, Battle Tiger. Battle uh, Tiger. <laughs> That's uh, like probably a code yeah, name. If you, if you a did bomb threat. call there you a go. battle tiger, <laughs> they probably also would do something. <laughs> yeah. There's a battle tiger under every, underneath every seat in that venue. Uh, we were running the event. Day one, there was a small internet outage. went amazing. I was pumped for day two. I was like, oh, it's going to be great. Uh, and then an hour into the day, the internet just fucking goes kaput. Mm. For... A, a full two hours about like it just every time we go up it goes down yeah uh and it's because we got ddos yeah which we didn't talk about on the broadcast yeah you don't want to give too much attention to it but basically csgo is such an archaic <clears throat> fucking game that when you press the the katilda key it brings up a console that says where you fucking were born if you're in a public your lobby mom i think it has oh, your no ip way. shows your ip address you know who, that's how it you know who deduced yeah. this you know who's the person who diagnosed this problem mm. yeah Mm. That's so sick. Yeah, and was like, we were sitting at a table with James, who's just like, I don't know what's going on. And he's like, maybe it's the console. Yeah. And James is like, what? And he's like, I'm like, oh yeah, definitely that. Dude, <laughs> that's wild, actually. Yeah, yeah. So the, the IP address. Because people were like matchmaking and everyone was allowed to stream there at the world's greatest gamer competition. And it's more confusing gaming. because it went out day one separately for like five minutes. So we <laughs> thought it was, oh, it Presumably is. Presumably not a DDoS yes. day one. And then it kept happening every time we'd go to the couch. Because some the know. idea is that there is a young a teenager in Eastern Europe. We always mm -hmm. blame the Eastern Europeans. Is it our bias? You know, it's, you know, it's also British kids. It's, most, a, it's Brits. Most people who SWAT like American streamers are fucking little UK London. It's a British I, kid with with no in Gloucester. No. Yes, yes. yes. As, as Borough, things become more Bridge. economically dire in the UK, the children are desperate for entertainment. <laughs> the children are Youth dying. unemployment <laughs> is skyrocketing, and all they can do is sit at their computer and DDoS. And BT. This is what Archie would be doing if he wasn't employed here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, saved, we saved him from the streets. <laughs> he right. still BTs occasionally. Yeah. Have to, like, yeah. Talk yeah. Yeah. He can't help it. He can't help it. It's in his blood. <laughs> uh, but yeah, they, we, the, the, the theory is that the person got the IP address to DDoS. A DDoS is basically... You're taking the IP address of something and you're sending a bunch of internet traffic to it at once to swarm it, and then it just it like destroys the traffic capabilities of it. And there's like tools that can do this. And we've like the person, the the, the Archie like person probably got the IP address, saved it for day two, and then every time we went up, they would hit the button. I think it was found day two because that's e the siesta. Either way, they would hit the button when we went up to yeah. see it go down. Like a like a seal cloud, and then I learned a monkey. lot about yeah, IPs. Yeah, and you figure out what IP it. address was. Well, I knew what an IP address was, but you you have to change the IP address. <laughs> what does it stand for? Yeah, it, international protocol. Inter international Inter so protocol. Protocol. Internet protocol. You're so close. Oh, okay. <laughs> international protocol. <laughs> Just take one second. Internet is international. Italian protocol. <laughs> Italian protocol. Italian <laughs> protocol. That's a BT. <laughs> Italian <laughs> protocol. If it senses one in your server, it shuts down. Dude, if I ever start an action movie, that's what it'll be called. Uh, Italian, Italian protocol. protocol. <laughs> it's like the Italian job. Yeah. Uh, it's somebody, somebody booting up low orbit ion cannon over and over. That's the whole movie. <laughs> you can call your ISP and have them change the IP, but they'll only change the last digit. And then you can just go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Yeah. And this is known to people who do like to do this shit. So you can just, you know, you got 10 digits. And there. then you have a verifiable way to see if it goes down or not. And the funny thing is we never swapped like the whole IP. Cause that took a while. The guy just fell asleep. Yeah, and we, we just were able to. Keep the show going. He's like, oh, good day. I'm oh, gonna so go to bed now. European. Yes, we got him dead to rights. Dead to rights. Yeah, 100. It must European. have like the, the, maybe he was he was living in like Eastern Europe and like a bear walked into his house mm. and he was like, oh, back, <laughs> and he sat down at dinner with it. Back in like the like competitive COD community, like game battles and stuff, like the yossing was so big because you would just connect to a game. Uh, like on console and then every IP would just be known by the user oh, fuck. so like you would like we'd be playing like you know competitive matches and stuff and then you get DDoS and it's like all you can do is film your games and report it uh, so it was very common for everyone who played competitive to know how to DDoS so you'd always just be like I'm not gonna DDoS but if they DDoS us they're also getting DDoS and then people would have clan tags that say DDoS so you know you're against a team that could do it back 
That's that's nuclear. And it was very doctrine. hard. It was like holy that's, shit. That's, that is nuclear war. So I was like I was like fourteen. I was like learning how to do that. Yeah, you were learning what the <laughs> ultimate weapon can do to you the world. You were in your own bay of pigs. The, you know where else this was common was the Mario Kart Wii community. Really? Yeah. yeah. And because you don't have like built in, you don't have built in comms in Mario Kart, right? Yeah. Everybody used Skype, so people would run or uh, run programs where if you had somebody's Skype oh, ID. Yeah. You could run their ID through like it's a called command a resolver. prompt. I remember this, and then it would give you their IP. God, and you then, guys are evil people. And then people would evil DDoS people during Mario Kart in self clan defense. Wars. So how often it happen? <laughs> I'm just standing my ground. <laughs> I think it's it's the good people with DDoSing abilities that save us. That's what I'm saying, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fucking the guy, the guy who finishes bowl of borscht. He's he's truly truly a hero. Pops, right. what's bowl of borscht? Oh my God. Pops, what is that? He's not cultured. I don't know. Borscht. How often did people DDoS in Mario Kart? Uh, not super, super often, but it was definitely, it was like a, pre a pressing enough issue. Like, wow. you know, people were doing it. Skype had an exploit, and it, it even up until like a couple, I think it was a couple years before COVID or something, there was a Dota tournament, and one of the players was still using Skype, even oh. though yeah. Discord was like the way. Got a hold of the IP, just tanks the tournament. And the and for esports and shit like Dota, there's a big interest in doing it because people have money on it. Yeah. So it's like you'll take a position and then you'll DDoS. And MBS then you'll would never let that happen. And yeah. then fight a bear. That's why I'm very scared of gambling sponsors, like for betting. And spiders. And spiders, because they also can DDoS yeah. with their multiple hands. Our, our brothel think... for little people will have no spiders. Or, be, or, be, or, be, or, be, or, be, or gambling. No gambling. No gambling Wait, at our brothel? You can't, no, like, bet. You can't. You can't like bet. You like, gamble outside oh, the premises. Who's the first Madame picked? You can't do that. You can't do that. Outside the premises. We don't want any match fixing at the little person brothel. Is, is throwing money at a stripper not gambling? No, that's not gambling. No, not gambling. Not that's all. paying that's for a service. service. That's, that's, tipping. that's tipping. That's tipping. It's a patronage. We will have one Baccarat table. At the that's it. That's legal. Okay. And if you hit the dragon... We, we are gambling now, <laughs> just to be clear. We're not sports betting, but we're gambling. Which is fine? Yeah. In our brothel? Sure. In our brothel, everything's fine. <laughs> I, I think Shake actually brought this up when, when we were at the casino as well. He was, he was like, no, why, why hasn't there ever been like a match-fixing scandal in Melee? Uh, or no, it was one of the guys at our table, and he asked if there was a match fixing problem in Smash. And I was like, "Bro, there's just not enough money Wait, they're, they're for anybody having, to fix." I mean, there's chops. There have been several, yeah. Like there's chops at low levels, but like yeah. other than that, I think that's different. Yeah. What's a, wait? What would be a match fixing scandal? You mean like big prize? Like where, like where throw? somebody like Zane like throws because there's so many. There's a bunch of people betting on bet way on the match oh, and yeah, he gets like a cut. Oh, yeah, it's just not like enough people not. to have money to bet big enough sums. Because all the, all the bets are cash $5 in the crowd at the event. Yeah, yeah Venmo, Venmo servers get real hot during a tournament. <laughs> I was talking about it because I brought all the gamers out to dinner and it's a, it was a weird ass group. Like everyone actually got along great and there's a lot of friends, friendships made, but it was like everyone's happy. It was like Clayster, Call of Duty guy, Jerex, Dota guy, Tens. And they're all talking. Clayster, a slime fan. I overheard this conversation. Yeah, no he came, way. He came up and talked to me. Really? He's like, hey, I just want to say like a big fan. And I was like, that's crazy. You're, Dude, <laughs> you're good at games. It's like, now. you're so, you're famous. You're man. famous. You're like, yeah. you have something that I want, which is skill. In game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, he's very sweet. But he was like, yeah, it's crazy because you just, you grow up, you pick a game because you like it. You stick with that game, become a pro in it. But it's like kind of RNG what game you picked. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. You know it's crazy. You know, I met at this event. I met Sejam. We talked a lot, and uh, he used to wrestle at my high school. Yeah, what? I knew he wrestled. I didn't know it was at your high school. Like not like at, he didn't like go to my school, but he was like that's where like his matches always he were. He played a lot of wrestling. So we were in the same place. What the fuck? In high school, because we we're like he's only two years older than me. And the same hair. You guys have a lot in common. Me and Sejam. Yeah. He's got thick thighs. A <laughs> lust for love. <laughs> Does he have a lust Are for you describing love? yourself? <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess I am. <laughs> I guess we can do the same thing. Hey, Aiden. Yeah. Tell me something that makes you happy. Mm. Working Just out. Just kidding. Don't care. Eating? Slime. We don't care. Tell me something about HelloFresh delicious meals. Here's the thing. It's a fall routine because it's autumn now. It's almost autumn, but it's also autumn now. Yeah. And when you're, when you get into a routine, you get some poutine. 
Get some poutine for your routine. Write that down, Aiden. That's a Write good note. Write that down. Quit looking dumbfounded. Write that down. Take your pick from 40 weekly recipes, over 100 add-on items, snacks, easy lunches, desserts. You want to be pescatarian? You want to be like Aiden and eat only 800 calories a day? And I live with Aiden. I know he only eats popcorn. You it's the only thing that he makes He only eats popcorn and Coke Zero. It's really like healthy. That. So, you know, uh, if Aiden had hello fresh i feel like you could diversify maybe some of you well, like, what would you they don't do poutine or popcorn yeah that's why you don't like it but we like it a lot because mm. i'll yeah. bring it home i got miles living with me he loves chefing it up we get a box of stuff i plop down the box i say get to work king. i wanted to start cooking all my meals but i refused to go shopping which i didn't want to do and i started eating these and it's so much easier because they just sent it to you aiden so, so if you don't like cooking or grocery shopping normally, or if you have an Australian friend that has been uh, in your home for months <laughs> and can cook meals Whether for you. Whether or not you, you know that he's there. Actually, Hello. if you use our card, if you go to HelloFresh, if you use our code, <laughs> go to HelloFresh.com slash the 50 the yard, use code 50 the yard, you get 50% off plus an additional 15% off next two months. And if you do that, you get one free Australian. Yeah, it comes with an Australian guy. Yeah. And his, and his name is uh, It's usually like Mungo like Jacko Or yeah. like Mungo Mungo, Mungo or Jacko like, or, Jackson Or Breaks Oh so, Jackson with an X That's, that's, that's uh, HelloFresh.com Slash 50 The yard 50 the number 50 uh, the yard For America's number one Meal kit And Australia's Number one Friend That it'll come with That yeah He'll they be get a, they, they get a they working be your They best get a working friend. Visa and everything And so thanks to HelloFresh It's all above board it's amazing. It's, Yeah don't worry About the logistics <laughs> And thanks right to HelloFresh For uh, continuing to sponsor us after these rates <laughs> it's crazy so goodbye it was a cool event uh, i i think for because i tried to follow like every esport i could growing up and pretty much everybody involved in this event was like somebody that i recognized from like as a kid or or watching in like the last few years so it was a weird fusion of people it made me really want there's this there's this unreleased summit content piece that is like uh, mm. different casters from different games casting CS:GO yeah. that never got published, and it made this event reminded me of it, Did I and make it, it really made me want that to go out because it's like uh, I, I think it's like Yipes and like Chris Matrix like commenting a CS match. Yeah, yeah, yeah I edited that. Yeah, it's not. Why, it why never it got never released. Go I don't remember. I probably have it somewhere. Mm. I gotta look. Apparently, the uh, I forget what one of their names. Uh, <laughs> there was also Dota casters. Are. Apparently, the Rocket League guys killed it. Yeah, they were like amazing. Yeah, I no, I also filmed this. I remember now. We had this crazy setup where like, like we had to like get all these people into a Discord. Then I was like recording their source files through the Discord call and like there's a whole fucking yeah. Thing. There was a bot for it. I remember you told me about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, Craig bot. Craig Bot. Um, Craig does work. Craig Bot. The best dude. I've been saying. Ugh, I don't. No, I've recording. been saying one of the best unreleased content pieces at Summit ever was locals uh fgc mm. there was a like they flew it was when i got hired so i wasn't like part of the filming process but they flew to new york and they interviewed like a bunch of fgc heads that never came out no it never got released wow. and it's all about how locals are like this important thing to protect and then after this of course covid locals get destroyed yeah. and i was like dude it would be so sick to go back and get the footage and then make it now yeah because they don't have sense. they don't have the context of the future so it's like archival and then you make this thing in the future where it's like then 2020 happened it's before dystopian the, before the it the would be bomb. so good that would be pretty good before it's, it bomb. would be better than the original thing yeah because it's more because everything it. they were saying was true and then and then the opposite happened where they got fucked every you guys are fucking who was it aiden was like lamenting publicly like slippy killed Slippy killed a piece of the heart of yeah. Ryobeat made a thread, and I replied to it. I thought Ryobeat actually put it really well. There was like, and me and Miles talked about this for a long time after, like the next day. Um, there when when you initially got into Smash, you know whether it be melee or not, in that kind of like 2013 to 2018 time period, I think there was this real sense of adventure about the game, like. You would go to people's homes, you'd meet up with people you'd never met before, you'd go to fests, you'd drive like far just to go to tournaments or just to like practice a little on that day. Like I would, after my classes were over uh, at community college, I would drive up this into this like neighborhood in Bellingham, Washington and play every day with these like two guys that lived in this house in like the woods. And uh, 
And I, I did that every day for like that's probably he, like eight that's months. That's where he cut his teeth on asking <laughs> yeah. guys at grocery stores to go, <laughs> to go to New Zealand. Um, but but there, uh, I think this idea of like wherever you go, whatever you're doing, always having your controller on you because you might wind up in a situation where you could like play with people and practice for maybe just 30 minutes to a couple hours. This is it was like it's like going out into the world like when the, when the ten year old gets sent out to play Pokemon for the rest of his life you know like this, <laughs> yeah yeah it, but and you're like that whereas like now I think that experience for a newer player because you start on Slippy and you practice online like you would any other game I think that experience is kind of gone and I like think this lost. is a chuggy take it's a chuggy take yeah it's a chuggy take. Chuggy, I'm can not, you, I'm not can lamenting can the fact that we have online. I just like, I, I, you know, we all shared in this like wonderful experience and now people are less likely to have that experience. And that makes me a little sad. I think, I think it's a bit back in my day. I think, cause I think I met him at a regional and I think the regionals still exist and there are still valid, valid reasons to travel. Yeah. But it's more accessible in a way that you don't have to travel to just practice so i think the level of play has increased as a result oh absolutely there's trade-offs i i think i would not if i could like bring it all back and reverse all the changes i wouldn't do that it's not this idea of like we need to go back to the old way and slippy was a mistake and people shouldn't play online it's just like there is an aspect of playing in person and practicing in person that was lost that was a nice thing yeah, and diminished. now it's gone also your take ludwig is just simply a guy who played puff at his local <laughs> Oh, I don't think locals really, they weren't actually that cool. No, I'm not saying locals aren't cool. I'm just saying, like, in the, the, like let me give an example. There, there's this uh, Fox player, and I was at a party, uh, and I didn't realize they were a Fox player, and I asked to do a Fox ditto, and they're like an older school player. Uh, and I, I end up just dusting him in a best of three. Uh, and they've been trained in locals and stuff. Well, long time. Yeah, long, long, long local time. player. They were yeah. a slippy kid, right? And uh, and I could tell that their, their level of play was much lower. <laughs> On Fox. On so, Fox, their main. Yes, on their main which, character. But I didn't know that. So I went up to them after, uh, and I was like, "What? who's your main? And, and uh, this guy, Matus, Shake Drizzle, was like, it's, <laughs> it's, it's actually Fox. Dude, um, Ludwig farmed Shake's Fox and then didn't know it was his main character. It was actually at so Red says his party, or Polite's birthday I went party. up, I went no, up. No, this is like this past this, weekend? This, yeah. this weekend. You didn't and know I, Shake I, played I, Fox? Dude, I, I always conflate that Shake plays Marth because I, like he worked with Zane so closely. Yeah, he's like a huge Zane stan. Is it their it, buds? But and, I, I, and I know he plays Fox because he's oh. told it to me multiple times, but I just forget because we don't play. And then, so I said Fox Ditto, not thinking. Yeah. Just like, hey, let's not do mains. Let's not sweat it up. Yeah. Let's and, then not I, sweat. and then I beat him. Oh. And then I walk up. I'm like, dude, who's your main? And he's like, come on, bro. <laughs> dude, that's so BM. <laughs> oh, it's so good, though. Oh, dude, Shake. I could, I could hear him saying it. Like, come on. Yeah, bro. I was also given uh, Shake the Farmer's Only Special. No! Uh, and he was, he was head in hands, and he, was, he just kept going, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, that's the shake. <laughs> shake, he's, 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 he's such a fun, he's such a graceful loser. Because, like, you farm him as if you are driving a combine harvester, and there's just grain <laughs> flying into your big bin, and it's just little tiny shakes just flailing around, and you make fun of him, and you just say, like, farmers only, city folks just don't get it. And he's like, <laughs> he's like good games, man. <laughs> Oh, I love that fucking guy. So I still got it. I still got that. You do that still got touch. it. I got that melee touch. Right. I'd give you the hands of Street Fighter. I really want to play. I'd work you like I work tens. He plays a game for two fucking seconds and he thinks he's the best. I work. I work tens. No, you, you did. Have you heard of him? I beat him one in seven games. That's bad. I was gonna say I did some work. You beat tens grabs all the time. Ten, guy, tens he just, only he just, grabs he, gamer. He grabs with Yuri's feet. Take over the throw. And over. Take the throw and then seven throws later. Don't take the throw. <laughs> Get out. Uh, yeah, I did, Aiden. You know what's funny too is I again uh, yet another slime was right and should be mm. and should be celebrated, awarded. Slime should be put on a podium, given a big award. I was like, Ludwig, you and me should play Street Fighter like when it came out. Like it'd be really fun, or even like you should play against somebody. Like this game's fun, and he's like, mm, no, mm, no. Plays it one fucking time with tens. Now it's cool because mm. the cool kid did it. Because the cool Is young handsome, you know what I, you young, know young rich penis money. You know what I like? Young rich, I like? Yeah, yes, I'm Nick. piggybacking. Stop I'm piggybacking. Young, young rich penis money played the game, and it's cool now. Want to piggyback? Okay. Piggyback. What, what, piggyback. Go ahead, piggyback. When, when, when he, who, 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 I, I love, <laughs> I love when slime will 
he'll have some sort of uh verbal tick or joke he'll lock onto for like a month yes and then a you bust generous. it out on the big stage uh, <laughs> i yeah, love yeah, like yeah. you beta test the jokes and then <laughs> and then i'm watching oh there's fifty thousand people on stream and i'm watching ludwig ask tens if they'll be friends forever <laughs> yeah. and I'm like, i wonder where that came and from then tens instantly says no yep yep that you're never ready for that one uh yeah slime slime is nothing but a treasure trophy at, at the very least of of sayings and phrases yeah you farm me for my for my diseased brain and i i, I, buried, I, <laughs> I love buried in a pyramid i know you started saying I was, that. I was great it was a great line and i'm like yeah bitch listen to me sometimes <laughs> he doesn't, he doesn't say i that do one. listen to you the one i won't take from you is i think nine dogs are easier than one because you really <laughs> kept saying that. that on commentary <laughs> every time someone said the, the, the x defiant guy who yeah, turned Pat. out to be an old po cod pro yeah, oh, old cod pro is a dev Wait, now on x defiant x is a dev yeah yeah that's crazy and he sat down and like, the game's probably i good. thought he was yeah. just like a corporate shill but he was like a gamer, no. he, a COD gamer. He was real shit. He was yeah. on the best team for quite some time. I heard there was there was a little bit of a, a faux pas because someone on the couch was like, I think it was maybe Coney. He was like, oh, did you play for Complex? What did Optic. he say? He played for Optic? And he's like, no, Complexity. And then uh, some Tommy after the show, or wasn't Tommy, someone else told me he's like, that was a bad thing to say. Because apparently he was like beefing real hard with. Yeah, I don't remember. With back Optic then, back it was in the a, day, so there was a was big. Like, they're pussies and shit. There was a big rivalry. He, the team he was on, so he's on Complexity, and I think they turned into evil geniuses for some time as well. What? But they were. It was like Aix and Crimsix and a few other people, and the biggest rivalry was between them and Optic. And they were the better team for sure, but Optic and COD has always had this enormous following. Like, uh, you know, maybe they're, they're like, like the first team. Yeah, they were just mm. the first big yeah. team. So when they came up, right, it's like eighty percent of the audience is like automatically in favor of one team, no matter what. So it's like it was kind of like the Nade Shot Scumpy like they were Optic kind of, era. They were like the phase of competitive COD. Yeah, and phase were just the guys that like. They were, were like montage makers. FaZe also sing. had a competitive team, but in this world of competitive Call of Duty, Optic was at the time. The they, at the time, they didn't. At the like the beginning, they didn't. It was at the very beginning. Oh yeah, Optic before it had the competitive team, and FaZe was just like they were just montage makers. Dude, this guy, he's sitting on the couch. I started asking him, "Do you think it'd be easier to take care of nine dogs or one dog?" Right, that's and, a good question. Yeah, and who, he, who you're asking this to? Aix? Aix, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and he like, said what? And he said, he said one dog because it's less dogs. And then Slime said, ah, but the dogs would take care of each other. And he said, <laughs> <laughs> and he said well, I, you didn't phrase the question well because you said I would have to take care of them. <laughs> and then Slime was like, you should know that of dogs. And I, I did. I did kind of give him shit for not not knowing what I was <laughs> saying. Is this, is this like a parabola where like for, in your mind, four dogs are harder than one, but nine dogs gets easier. We than actually four. talked about this because Coney was like, oh, yeah, what about 11? Dogs. <laughs> what about four hundred dogs? You're it's like, oh, too many it's dogs. It's a <laughs> Like eleven, too many dogs. Too many dogs. Can't dogs. do that. Because then they'd form cliques. They'd bully. <laughs> Some would be left behind. Nine. Perfect amount of dogs. Yeah. I yes. think at one point I was like, if there's if there's not enough space, then you can't have that nine many dogs, dogs. Every dog has two friends. Mm, yes. <laughs> Wait. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. No, you're he's right. right. Yeah, they don't group, have to question. They could drop into groups of three at any time. They have two friends. Yeah, it's like three to one odds. We don't count the. <laughs> it's two to one odds. They we brief me. They brief me right before Aix gets on the couch, and they say, "Hey, you cannot ask when the game comes out." I can't. Believe it's the only this. rule for X Defiant, and instantly because all of chat all day was spamming when does X Defiant come out? Because when I announced, that, I didn't realize how hype people were for it. Uh, like Brady Thief, who's on uh, Moist, was like, "Dude, you have to tell me when it comes out." And so the moment he sits down, I'm like, when's it come out? No, what happened was I asked him about the nine dogs question. Uh -huh. We go back and forth. He reveals to me that he doesn't think about things like this, which is annoying. And then... Because he's busy developing a triple that's annoying A of him. title. That's annoying of him, though. He should think about these he things. He should think about these things. He should think about whether or not it's easier to... Yes, yeah, because nine abstract dogs. concepts can help him be a better dev. Yeah. You think... All right. I and so, like all my tongue. So we, so we get through, we through, we get through it, and then Ludwig says, "Hold on, let me ask you an even stupider question. <laughs> when does this game come out?" And he really put him to the test because it's like you're a guy who sits down and you're ready to like promote this thing you've been working on and you've been in the industry for a long time, and the one thing that the guy who's made the event says it cannot happen 
happens. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, Ludwig is just swinging his dick at somebody. Wait, so was it the YouTube person asked you not to ask that question? No, who's like X Defiant requested this specific. Yeah, it's Ubisoft, oh. the client. You know. There was a couple of uh, <laughs> faux pas. The event ran well. Like it, it, people liked it. I think it achieved its goal. Like people respect Void as a gamer. I think he proved that he's better. He proved it. Uh, so, they, and so did a Electronic Robert. And Electronic Robert's number two. And there's a few flaws that can be improved. I think next year would go well. But uh, one of the uh, one of the things that went bad was Lego 2K was like, hey, we got to be a little more careful in this game, you know, in terms of brand safety, because it's a like G-rated game or something. Uh, and so we're like, all right, no worries, no worries, no worries. We'll have a little break between CS and this. We did Coney Cake thing. Uh, and they're like, okay, great. Uh, just make sure nobody like drunk or something commentates and then lego 2k starts and mango hops on oh my like, god mango like a titan like <laughs> <laughs> starts oh no <laughs> it's big joe yeah. Yeah. It, 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 it fucks this game it's like mario kart it's like dude no <laughs> and he's got the boomstick in his nose oh my god and he's just like got it stuck in his nose he's like fucking lego stupid and they're like oh i god. saw this picture the picture of him with the it up his nose and him like over clayster's shoulders grabbing him <laughs> dude he Oh, oh my god, all events. So me and Mango are supposed to get tattooed and we did we didn't go that. because uh my girlfriend has COVID and I didn't want I didn't know if I had COVID yet, which I ended up not having it, but I didn't want to go get a tattoo if I potentially had COVID. So I told the tattoo artist, Mango gets mad at me, which is insane because I'm organizing everything. <laughs> the fact that he's mad that like it's not happening, I'm like, go fuck yourself. He's like he's like uh, you ruined everything. And I'm like, Okay, sure. I know how to deal with him. So I'm like, Yeah, you're right, I ruined everything. And he's like, uh, why'd you get COVID? And I'm like, I never had COVID. That's not what happened. He's like, you have COVID. And I'm like, no, I don't. And then the whole event, if he passed me and I was in a group of people, he would lean in and go, he has COVID. And then he would walk away. And then the people would be like, do you have COVID? And I'm like, no, no. no, no. I do not. I do not have COVID. And then he'd be like, he does. Dude, dude, that's so funny. That's so funny. You know what else happened on Lego? Because we were told as casters, just like, no, just no bad language, really. Honestly, and it's fine. It's like, you know what? A game's, this is how the, this is how the industry goes. It's like, yeah, we can not swear. And then the first thing I see in the first fucking race is someone gets exploded. And in that game, they call it getting bricked. <laughs> <laughs> and you get bricked up? You get bricked. That and then is I'm so like, sick. bricked? What's that? And then Ludwig <laughs> just tries to smooth over it. It's, it's, it was basically the Ludwig and Slime Malicious Compliance Olympics. Yeah. If, <laughs> but but you, were, you shouldn't be playing that game. That's well, a game for me to I play. I had a little fun. But it's because no, you, 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 really you guys should have been running the bit that's like... Oh, and uh, Void getting bricked up in the corner, so, and like you don't know. So I did what I did because it actually was really rare to happen. It's crazy that it happened in the beginning of the ma match because you don't really blow up a lot. You don't get bricked a lot. You don't get bricked up. You don't get bricked a lot. Often, no. yeah, you, some you, people have a harder time with it. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, especially when they're drinking at the event. <laughs> it's yeah. <in> some. <laughs> and so, so we're playing, and I Ludwig smoothed over it, and I'm like, Ludwig, what does it mean when they've gotten bricked? <laughs> <laughs> And Ludwig looks at me, which is crazy, because the shit he was pulling all fucking event. He looks at me and he's like, yeah. and I'm like, okay, what like silently. The, what like, was okay. the gaped thing? The, oh, and then after, so after Lego 2K, it's Tetris, and Tetris, like we we our muzzles got taken off. You know, we're yeah. like finally we can like it's Tetris. It's the, for real adults. The old, I mean, if you played it when it came out, you're no, that's 40 what I'm saying. Take off your proverbial game. mask. Yeah, finally the liberals allowed us to take off our mask. <laughs> yeah. and then we, we we and we had to choose our pronouns, which was annoying. <laughs> and then finally we can talk. We can talk with full freedom because there's no more Lego on the screen. Right. But it's still a YouTube event, so like they, they it was basically like don't go too crazy. You know, don't go nuts. Um, and I. I take off my muzzle, yeah. and it's it's Tetris time. And what do I see on the screen when Tafo is there with us? It's and just his giant calves. And his giant They're so fucked big. up calves that are bigger than Nick. They look like they've implants. He's like as much as you do. Nah. He's a he's he kind does. of a beast. He, he's close. And we're watching. Yeah. And what do we see on the Tetris board? But a gaping hole where there should be a block. And so we just talk about how, you know, Jerex He's gaped for me, Dubbin. He's gaped for me. <laughs> <laughs> Dubbin, he's gaped. He's gaped for me. Dude. Electronic Robert is gaped for us now. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, my very, my very moment is, is Exifiant, and it was like the class names. Oh, can you go up to the, to the Reddit a zipper while Ludwig explains this, the Yard subreddit? Uh, there was a class, and he's going through, there's five different factions or something, and he's like, oh, I'm like, what are the factions' names? And he goes through all of them. The last one's like, 
Yeah, it's Liberard. And it looks exactly like oh. <laughs> Libtard. Oh, and yeah. I was like, I was like, Pat, do you ever think that sounds like something else? Dude, <laughs> <laughs> it, it was it was so sick. It's like, what are we saying this? So I can do it. I saw yeah. dad smoking weed in the garage. So it's like, what's he going to do? Well, okay. Tell me not to smoke weed. But then <laughs> sometimes dad does tell you not to smoke weed. And it's like, well, you smoked weed, dad. And yeah, it's but like, yeah, I know I'm the a- right amount to smoke. <laughs> uh, there's This whole event was not my idea. It was originally YouTube's. YouTube Gaming wanted to do this. Uh, I think it was like strengthen relationships I, with devs. and. I will say, I will say, as someone who was in the original meeting for this project as it was pitched, uh, the original version of this event was I uh, terrible. He didn't quit the, the project, actually. He quit. He went baby rage mode. He said, I won't do it, Dubin. You, yeah, you I FF'd? Won't do it. Yeah, because it was so bad that I was like, I, this isn't, we have a bunch of events to work on. This is like one of, at the time, this was like one of three or four events that was happening in the span of two months. I'm like, I don't have the bandwidth. I need to drop something. This is one of the worst ideas I have ever heard. <laughs> and I do not have the social capital to say that in the meeting. And how, how do you think about it now? Uh, it was great because you swung your social cock around and you changed the event, but I don't get to do that. Uh, no, I didn't swing my social cock. I worked hard. Oh, okay. Yeah. I did put, I put the you fucking hours in. And, I don't and, have the social standing in the meetings to change the event in this he way. He doesn't have cock. He doesn't have cock. To swing. He's a eunuch. We're smoking big, nasty You're a eunuch dick. now, Aiden. <laughs> yeah. I, <laughs> <laughs> okay. This smoking happened, big natural. This, this happened during X Defiant. You can just play it at the clip. Describe uh, it, Pat, because I think I know better than you. Okay, the, absolutely. What the attack does is they push their uh, load towards destination. <laughs> is that right? Yeah, I guess we can go with that. Yeah, the payload. And, <laughs> and there's oh, payload. Yeah, payload. Are you allowed to refuse <laughs> the payload? <laughs> What do you mean? As you say, refuse. Is it <laughs> like more like a no? For the no, you hop on the payload, and the payload will move. You could refuse the payload. You could, you could yeah. If you don't, if you don't hop. <laughs> <laughs> Poor dude. What the fuck? Dude. I'm from New York. So we're going into Times Square here. Oh, oh shit. Okay, cool. Yeah. 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 I'll, I'll tell you. I'll give that's you. That's it. That's it. This yeah. is the best you've ever played that. <laughs> Play him perfectly. He always laughs at some point. Yeah. He'll crack at the end, but he did not crack once. <laughs> yeah, I was like, it'd be really funny to say load instead of payload. Two, something about you two running bits while Yipe stays completely. <laughs> Completely silent. Oh also, my god. There was a moment where I thought Yipes was gonna like tell me to like, hey man, you need to cool off. Because I made a joke to Ludwig and it was like uh what I say is it was like, oh yeah, that's a game we play in France. It's called Ooh Ah or something. Yeah. You you made some it was a pretty good joke, and I'm like, oh yeah, that's the one where you spit in your sister's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I was like, came over the top, like fucking <laughs> what can I say? And then Yipes looks at me, he's like, hey yo! <laughs> I'm like, oh Yipes thinks I'm really weird right now. <laughs> Cause you kinda wanna impress Yipes, yeah, you know? Oh hundred yeah. percent. I was actually really I was pretty nervous because I was like, I want I want him to be like included but i feel like if it's not a fighting game he feels kind of out of place and stuff but uh but yeah it was a fun time do you think everybody fun. had a good time oh you for sure I, I, we uh so i i didn't pay anyone outside of the prize pool to show up uh and it's a big ask like it's three days there's a media yeah. day which is a half day and then two days which is like nine ten hour days uh and like loser fruit came from australia jerax came from finland like a lot of traveling yeah. was done uh, so the two things that we did is day one, we went to, uh, dinner at, uh, Yakaya. Mm-hmm. Uh, Love that. and, and we got like a big old table. TJ took care of us per use. Uh, TJ. Oh, it's the, have you gone to Yakaya? You don't hang out with us. I TJ's, was. TJ's the guy, the waiter. He's the guy. The He's host. like a manager now. Love He's the manager. He knows the waiter. You know this. This is old stuff. It's his guy. He's, not, know, the He's not the waiter. Let, let, the me this. let me simplify this for slide. You know how Ludwig likes having guys and yeah. going to the same place because because he has a guy. Mm-hmm. This is that he just has a yaka. He's a restaurant guy. A restaurant so when guy. everybody you guys comes are to saying town, this like it's his, it's like a family member. Yeah, so TJ. Because we go all way back. know TJ. We met him because we go out to the group outing. Everyone have I met who TJ? I know in my no. life has met. Yep, Zipper knows Zipper TJ. Zipper does know TJ. You haven't met TJ. A wow. lot of people in my life know TJ because the people I love. Love to meet the people I love. That's what I'm saying. Because hurt people love hurt, hurt people. Hurt people love people. Evil, evil hurt. people, evil people. <sighs> Realize. Uh, and so we're there. And, uh, and I know everyone's having a good time because what they do at this restaurant in particular is they serve bone marrow 
uh, rice. <laughs> and what you do with the bone after is you take a shot out of it. It's like a very common pour thing to alcohol do. alcohol into the bone. And you drink out of the and bone. And you drink out and of the bone. You drink out of the, which is, I talk, it's like the most. Is this like a TJ thing? Insane. It's not a TJ thing. It's a restaurant well, thing. Well, TJ's frat used to do this and he brought it to the restaurant. No, they do it at yeah. like fancy Gen- places. They do it like best. Yeah, like Alpha Beta Chi. And, and you do the handshake and then <laughs> yeah. And Fiji. And yeah, PGS, and then yeah. you get you, you get a child and you get their adrenochromes after. Uh, well, that's but yeah. TJ hooked it up. Don't make it political. He, he gave us <laughs> <laughs> TJ gave us eight bones. Mm. He gave us the, he had like a whole warehouse of bones he brought out, <laughs> and so we just had all these gamers warehouse of bones, bone like marrow shots, movie or something. Yeah, they do. The restaurant is attached to a warehouse. F- presumably filled with bones. Filled with bones. We've yeah. never really seen inside of it, but it's you can only assume. It's also, actually, where they make all the meals for Factor is this bone right. factory. Yeah, yeah, that is actually yeah. true. Not the packaging, though. That's made in a different factory <laughs> yeah. full of different types of materials. Yeah. Edible yeah. materials. Yeah. And this is how the industrial like machine works. Mm-hmm. It's kind of a peer inside of it. And that's the engines of capital. You want to own it all way. the systems. You own the production. screws, you own the bones. God, Thank- fuck you, finish the story. <laughs> <laughs> There was a story. <laughs> what are we talking about? You're sucking. You're sucking juice out of bones. Tens, tens, sucking bone juice. Tens became a nightmare. Tens because he he got a little drunk, and I was like, "You're a bit too drunk." And he's like, "But he really wants to do the bone marrow shot." And I was like, "Okay, we do a sake." He's like, "He's like maybe I do a sake." And then like a minute passes, he's like, "I do it with whiskey." I'm like, "Are you sure? Like maybe you should do the sake." He's like, "I do it with whiskey now." <laughs> <laughs> and I, beast. And I'm like, "All right." And then he takes the whiskey shot, and instantly his face goes from like this, like. <laughs> and he's like like handling the shot and uh and then like the rest of the night he goes you shouldn't have made me do the whiskey shot Ludwig you shouldn't have made me do the whiskey shot what happened to his body and then he evolved to level two which is oh man I would I would really give you the hands in Street Fighter I would really give you oh, the hands in okay. Street Fighter okay. and uh and he started warming up a lot I think everyone started warming up a lot except for Mango who was a menace the whole night it was too fancy for him so he got up and he left this restaurant which was so <laughs> nice to go to an AM PM <laughs> Wait, for oh what? My God. For a pack of Parliament cigarettes in a forty. <laughs> just That's a fucking, so awesome. Just a Norwalk boy Mango, to the very man. end. Does he even smoke cigarettes? Mango makes no. so much money. No, he, does. he makes so much money. He talked to Clay about smoking cigarettes, like just a casual. Cigarette. He just remembered about cigarettes, and then Clay was like, "Yeah, I'd smoke a cigarette after you know maybe drinking like one or something." And so he got the pack of cigarettes to smoke with Clay. He smokes one. Clay's like, "All right, I'll smoke one." He starts smoking two more within like the span of five minutes. And by the third one, Clay's like, I'm good. And Mick goes like, really, dude? You're not going to smoke with me? And, Mick, <laughs> and Clay's like, this is the third cigarette. We already <laughs> smoked together. He's just like chain smoking <laughs> with the boys. It tells Clay, you've ruined everything. <laughs> it's funny. When everyone left, I talked to, uh, or excuse me, when Mango left, I talked to everyone else. I was like, do you guys like, do you know Mango? And everyone's like, Psh. Of course I know Mango. He's a legend. Hell yeah. Uh, and they're all gassing him up, but Mango really showed him his drinking side because the whole weekend at the event, he'd go up to different groups, but it'd always be the same group and be like, want to take a shot? So it'd be like, Loser Fruit and Connery's Pants. That's like one group. And the other group's like Tens and Super. And then, but he would take the shots with all the people. Yeah. And then they all started talking to, other, to each other about this. And, and they came to the realization that like, wow, Mango drinks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like, maybe just, just like seven shots. And to settle him down, minutes. I like looked into my fanny pack for like a treat for him, and I found my boomstick. Oh! And the boomstick's a Shark Tank product that's just menthol and eucalyptus oil, and it cl- clears your sinus. And it like you know, it's like a lower dose smelling. Oh, salt. I, I saw him like going around with that thing. Yeah, people, uh, Dude, people use that when they're on MDMA. <laughs> he went stupid on it. He started like shoving it yeah. up his nose, yeah. and then just leaving it there like a tampon, and you're chanting Tatum, and she's a man, and just going. Why and did then, he like it? And then he'd he walk over and be like, it? do you got more of these boomsticks? I'm like, oh, <laughs> it's bad for your sinuses to do it this much. He's like, ah, I don't need that. I don't care about that. That is like, it's like put, using the bidet on Max the first time. Yeah, but then like <laughs> like walking around with a bidet in your ass. I don't know. It's like, he did it yes. so much. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, I ordered 10 more. I'm like, that's crazy. This is so bad for you. I shouldn't have done this. <laughs> Dude, you have single-handedly eroded mango sinus. <laughs> Yeah. I'd rather it be that work. than something else. Yeah. Yeah, it is better this than alcohol or yeah. drug. There's going to be a tiny domino, and it's Ludwig makes Scuff World Tour, and it has Mango Go. And then, like, the giant, the biggest giant domino is, like, Ludwig, or Mango retires from Melee and just, like, gets addicted to Boomstick. 
<laughs> that that's the thing that takes him out. Not the alcohol. But yeah, the boom the sticks. Boom sticks. The boom sticks. Sticks. Will will so anyway, I think everyone had a good time. We did karaoke last night. How was that? It was fun. It was good. Everyone was singing. Dude, Zipper, can you go to the off-brand um Twitter? There's a giant staff photo. It's a great photo. There's a lot of people in here, a lot of old heads, a lot of new heads. I was over drinking a Coke Zero on my phone. <laughs> I am not in this picture. No. <laughs> no. I I didn't know it was happening. And I'm just like on my phone and then I look up and everyone's like, all right, yeah. And then everyone starts walking back over to the Yeah, me and Yam were playing Melee during this the photo. tables area. Oh, you were Yan's not there either? No. Yeah. Oh, that's so funny. So so yeah, I if this is it, it's almost like a visual representation of how I don't I naturally am magnetically opposed to plan group activities. Because what's more a plan group mm. activity than a photo? It's also well, Dan Danica is front and center in this photo. That is really funny. She's just an ex-BTS employee. Well, in her defense, she did serve food. She did serve food. Did you see that? No. She worked. Danica, yeah, she just got behind the counter and just started, like, serving poke bowls. And she's like, <laughs> what would you like? It was really funny. I saw her back there. I was like, okay. Because <laughs> um, she brought her old BTS staff shirt. It was very funny. <laughs> It was a really good time. It was like the old uh, Summit vibes. It was also like an introduction of the like the Ludwig Zoomer audience to uh, an old, event. Old audience. Yeah. Huh? Sorry, go ahead. Tiny little oh, baby you think they're, they're old, old babies. They're old, yeah, it's an old yeah okay. So these 29-year-old Ludwig fans. It's a mature audience. Mature. It's mature. Mature. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's all shake drizzles. You are, or unless you want to claim right now. <laughs> What's that your you were, Czech Republic viewership? Were you talking about being gaped to children? Yes. Yes. Own it. Own it. Bitch. I would mm -hmm. because in Tetris you need to make a line. I just wanted to protect the kids. And if you're protected from what being bad at Tetris, yeah. you got to be bad to learn. <laughs> so it, it, this is cool. This cool vibe. But I remember I was reading the subreddit, reading the chat when the internet's going down, and everyone's like, "I can't believe this is happening. I just can't believe like what what a terrible event." And it's like, guys, have you never like watched a, a, like like esport like? It, I think it was a lot of people's introduction because they only watch like brain rotted, like streaming, fucking just chatting, open Pokemon cards content or something. It's like, no, this is a produced event. And when the internet goes down, it's like, what? This is the most terrible L Ludwig has ever taken. It's like, it was fine. And it's like, Dude, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, it was. It was I was just chill. a little, I was surprised. And I was like, ah, they're being introduced. It's just flack. They're being conditioned. Sometimes you get flack. Programmed. Mm, in a way. Ludwig's YouTube, Ooh. programming the kids. So Slime has somehow got it in his head that this will be useful for our MeUndies ad read that we're now doing. You're in an ad read right now. You can never so Slime, do go ahead and take it away. Why don't you explain how this was meant to help or make the client happy go? What's up, client? Uh, it's <laughs> What's up, MeUndies fam? It's me, <laughs> the MeUndies man. And I've come to your door in the dead yeah. of night. In the dead of night. Just Where, wearing the me on these long underwear series. Wearing the long underwear. How which are feeling on you? I genuinely... Oh, they got pockets! They got pockets, yeah. What? I genuinely put these on. They are. And I was like, these are comfy. And that's what you need when me undies gives you special occasion undies. When the, when the me undies man comes to your home, that's me. It's a special occasion. This is like Eastern European folklore. Yes. Like when you, the if you, if you, you leave your you are a good boy... If you are the, the boy, man, and look, look, <laughs> boy, you, the me undies man comes to their house. He comes and you leave the shoes out. <laughs> Speaking of the right pair of underwear, I I used to wear like the boxers that kind of drape a lot, and then your balls chafe. Yeah, they do, yeah. and it Hate sucks. That. Hate that. And so I when I started using the ones that they sent us, it doesn't do that, and it's nice. And I got balls the softest undies on the blog. I'm slowly racking up our me undies supply into. I'm you, why do you get them all the time? Because I need I want them. them. I need them more than you no, do. No, no, no. Yeah, because you, you poop enough, your pants all the time. You do poop your pants a lot. This is good enough product that we fight over it. Well, look, over look. Who gets last to keep week it. he wore the shark ones, and they sold out on yeah. the website. It's true. Yeah, I did think that was slack. You can't do it like me because I I posed with commitment. Let's be real. Hey, monthly. Shipments, monthly shipments right to your door. Many options from undies, socks, loungewear, or bralettes available all. in sizes extra small through 4XL. So, you know, give your butt the best year of its life with you've me really, undies. You've been working on that. Um, so, yeah, yeah, go ahead Isn't and go. Isn't this juicy, though? It's, don't say it's juicy. Go ahead and go to meundies.com slash zipper. That's meundies.com slash zipper for 25% off your first purchase don't, and free shipping. Don't wait to be comfortable like him. Feel free to get don't on all Don't be me and undies. Be you and undies. You'll want to get me on undies. all fours. <laughs> meundies.com slash zipper. The me undies man will visit you in the night. In the night. In the night. In the night. Nightmare. Nightmare. <laughs> Back to the episode. <laughs> there was one big L at the event. Outside of the internet issues. Rest or, in peace. 
It was rest in peace to Zipper's hand. Dude. Yeah. Zipper. <laughs> this is a sad story. We had the boxing machine there. And we had the boxing machine here normally. But we moved it for brew battles. And it was still there. And I had everyone punch it. Uh, who's a gamer to like make a YouTube short. Who's the strongest gamer, whatever. Uh, but a lot of the staff were doing it. And then Zipper was there. And Zipper was Zipper loves wailing on that. He's probably hit it more than anyone. Zipper's probably hit it more than anyone. He wails on that fucker. <laughs> and, he, and he gets high scores. <laughs> he gets high scores, he does. Uh, and Zipper <laughs> comes over to me. And his hand I instantly has like a bruise on it. He's like, hit the machine like directly. Like punched <laughs> through the oh. bag and hit the glass or the plastic behind the it. screen. It'd be so yes. sick to do that, but then the number goes to like a thousand. Yeah. So and the glass is broken. <laughs> he tells me this, and I just out of reaction, I turn around and look at the numbers. <laughs> <laughs> and then and Zipper's like, no, no, no. Cause it is not a good number. <laughs> he broke the hand on like a on like a I don't want to say it. No, that's not let's not leak. <laughs> I want to apologize for my insane reach. He does have insane reach. Not broken, apparently. Oh, okay. I, th I was telling everyone that Zipper broke his hand. This is heavily every bruised. Everyone thinks your hand is broken, you Zipper. You do look bad right now. <laughs> That's you so look sick. like Glover. And swollen. <laughs> like the man who's the a man glove. The man who's a glove, Glover. <laughs> Zipper has morphed. Kind of the same. That's like what, what Zipper's sister would be. <laughs> Just a different. <laughs> I'm imagining thing. Hamburger Helper. Mm. Okay. Uh, yeah. With a little smiley face on it, yeah. too. Dude, did hamburger? You think the hamburger helper glove is just Mickey's gloves? No. Nope. You think it's in the same universe? No. Mm -hmm. You don't think? Oh, no. I think all gloves hang out. Yes. So Master Hand's there. Yes. Master yeah. Hand, Glover. He's big. Michael Jackson's no, glove. Because the melee character is uh, Everyone hates They're Master toys. Hand because his brother Crazy Hand. Yeah. And Crazy Hand's way He's a crazy too much. Fucker. But Crazy Hand can make you. <laughs> I won't say it. <laughs> He can make you wiggle and You know what, for writhe. once, I'm going to hold back. He can make you wiggle and writhe if you're gaped for him. <laughs> Why do you say all that? Did I? Just now. <laughs> Why do you say all that? What a crass thing to say, Logan. Oh, crass. Like, I just I know said where my you're friends are. Do you realize the R is a family podcast? It's not. Okay, says who? You, the owner? <laughs> yeah. If, yeah. You're not, if you're not sitting down with your family listening well, to let's take an owner vote. All the owners are here. Yeah. Owners are here. So is the R a family podcast or not? I say yes. Family podcast. Oh, you've been outvoted. That's, That's how a majority vote. Democracy he works. said a slur in the first five minutes. Yeah, yeah, but now he can say it because he's uh, he was lamenting the old days. Sesame Street had slurs in it. I can say I, we, we're away from the event. I can say anything I want. Is that now. true? I love yeah. Lego 2K Drive and gaping assholes. <laughs> Jesus, man. That's so Jesus, beautiful man. to say. Yeah, because we can say that here. I would where love to. Free, what about free? A, what about a goatsy Lego set? Do you think we could get him to <laughs> like make you that? Build, you build you the just, you, you build, build, build it. You build yeah. you don't need a set, you just build it with pieces. We so wouldn't make a set. No, for no, no. It. It's like a really beautifully done like set. <laughs> yeah, like And there's like the wedding ring and everything. It's a breathtaking set. <laughs> yeah. That'd be cool. Yeah, like at the Lego cool. store. And it could be know? like a piggy bank. Oh. Like you could put little coins in it. Or you yeah. could put guys in it, little Lego guys. Because it's gaped. You could put a lot in it. You guys see the Mr. Beast drama? I did. With the Jack that one. Well now it's Settled. Wait, why is it settled? Wait, you say they, they, they chopped. chopped it out. They chopped. No, I didn't see they chopped. They, they chopped. G. What was, uh, they, uh, if what they're was the G, chop? they're G. They just they talk chopped privately. Privately. Pri privately. Who, they talked privately. privately. We talked. Who publicly said this so we know they Mr. talked privately? Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast is like, it's actually all good. He's yeah. like, yeah, we chopped it. And then, the and then fucking Jack, we messaged. We're Jack Gucci now. Jack I replied to it. Wow. I remember I, I, I came home and Miles was reading that and on his JT. And he's just like mad at the phone. And he's like, you make fucking let's plays. And he's just like yelling at his phone like an old man. I'm like, ooh, someone's, someone's drama looking. Yeah, it's right. so funny because he was a, what it seemed to me at least, to be a very contrived lie detector thing with a fake lie detector person like I've done that Tommy Ennett did. Yeah. So they're just farming drama, but then I think they got a little more than they... They bit off a lot. A little, little more in the chew. When Mr. Bean comes through and he's like, hey, you're stupid, actually. He's been a, he's been a reply guy. He's been like you. Mr. Bean? Yeah. He, yeah. He'll like reply. He'll, but he, he's not like me because he'll also be like, like, just watch the Mr. Beast video and he'll reply and he'll be like, you have to watch every one now. To like a fan. <laughs> so he replies. <laughs> I, think, I think he literally like will search Mr. Beast. Oh, yeah. He's looking indirect. And then reply. Wow. Yeah, he's indirect pilled for sure. I love that shit. I've tried to be indirect pilled and then it's just Ludwig Gorenson. <laughs> it's like, uh. I love his music. <laughs> or how do you beat this boss, Ludwig? <laughs> and Or it's just a guy named Ludwig in Germany yeah. tweeting. You kind of did get screwed there. I, there's too many of us. Well, I, I mean, if I search slime, what am I finding? 
Goop. Mostly Goop Dragon crud, Quest sludge. tweets. You're on a lot of Dragon Quest Twitter, I feel <laughs> like. Nick yeah. Falco. I will say, on the Smash Bros. subreddit, because I used to check around for, like, if I commentated an event or something, they just love speculating about whether or not, before the Dragon Quest guy got in the game, like, whether or not Slime from Dragon Quest would be in the game. A character? And yeah. It was really funny. Dude, speaking of Mr. Beast, at the, at the event, it, it's like 10 minutes to, no, it was like two minutes to showtime. And the counter's clowning down. We have to be on the couch. Connery Pant is He's sitting there. Watching a Mr. Beast video, yeah. and it's Lamborghini versus Shredder. Yep, and he's sitting there patiently waiting for the ad to get done playing before the video. He's in like ad block or something. And I'm like, oh, watching some content. He's like, yeah, dude, Lamborghini versus Shredder, Mr. Beast. And now I'm sitting through the ad. Yeah, because like I want to see that. Yeah. In the first ten seconds, it's like okay, the Lamborghini almost goes in. They click bake that, and then there's a big explosion. And then before, and then it goes into the video, and he pushes pushes a domino, and then a bunch of dominoes drop, and it destroys a Seven Eleven. And I'm just glued to the fucking <laughs> over Connor's shoulder. I'm like, this is the greatest thing I've ever seen. The, and Connor's like, I know. The domino thing was the best part of the video for sure. I, I didn't get to finish it, but it's like it was like in Futurama when Fry's got the slop and he needs to save his friends, but he's addicted to it, and he's like pulling the trough. To go help them, and I was like, I just, I, I gotta go on the couch, but I just want to. You want to finish? I, I want to watch this Mr. Beast video so bad, and I was like, it, it's like hitting, hitting cracks. The slop's pretty. And then after that, I was like, I saw this, this Jack guy drama shit, and I'm like, he's just wrong. Like, it, he basically made me want to finish a video that I watched for 12 seconds. Mm. And I was like, I, you're Mr. Beast pill though. I've all, I mean, I never wasn't. It was just like. They put a video screen in front of me, and all of a sudden, I was like, I like the way that makes me feel. He likes content. He's a con content guy. Content guy. You look content. Checking in. Checking in for you. Oh, do you guys all want to give me a content idea? Nope. Like in, gen in general? <laughs> nah, stupid as fuck. I want to give you one. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> That's cool. Nick. Slime shoots you with a... I need an idea from all of you, because I'm trying to do a video where I ask 100 YouTubers Did for you. a, an idea. I have mine. I and gave it to you a while ago. It's the best idea ever. Oh. Million dollar idea? Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, I'll do it. Is it one million dollars? I have to make a iPhone background. Not that one. <laughs> <laughs> not that one. No, I'm not gonna, the bad one. You're not, no, you're not asking for a million dollars. You're asking for a YouTube idea. I'm going to make a billion, you said. Yeah. A billion with that. Bill, Bill, a B. A B yeah. with Billy. Uh, what's the idea? I can't leak it. For yes, your video. you can. The idea is that I do. So for this, it's I have a hundred. You know, but if like, I do it, someone else will do it. This this specific video I'm trying to make is a hundred ideas, and all of them are public. And I play marbles, and when someone's name comes up, I read out their idea and I do it. Okay, you want my idea? Yeah. Okay, here's my idea. Ready? I already told you this. You're gonna laugh because every time I tell you the idea again, you laugh at me. That's why I don't like telling I'm you. That's why laugh. I don't like telling him ideas. He laughs in your face. He'll be like, what idea was this? And I'll tell him and he'll laugh at me. And I'm like, what's funny? I'm trying to help I'm you. I'm not going to laugh. 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 All right. The <laughs> <laughs> I hate you so much. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I hate I'm you not, so much. You look like you're trying to balance your tongue in the middle of your mouth. <laughs> you look like you're keeping water in your mouth because you're going to spit it out at me. <laughs> <laughs> the idea is I made parking free for a day in L.A. Don't laugh. You're gonna laugh. Your eyes are watering. <laughs> They're not watering. <laughs> what do I do after that? I hate you. I hate him. I, I actually, <laughs> with zero irony, I don't like you. <laughs> Nick has Nick has loved this idea for a long time. It'd be so good. It'd be so good. You made parking free for and you get all your friends, and it's a competition. <laughs> Who can save people the most money in L.A. via yeah, parking? Like downtown L.A. And everyone's got their own strat. You know, you've got you, and, and you do it the lazy way, and, like, you go in, into a parking structure, and you ask the guy if you can sit in his chair, and you just pay for everyone in line. Yeah. And you've got Aiden, and he fucking meets everyone and likes them and saves, like, $20 total because he sucks at it because he, he makes friends. And you've got, like, me, and I gamify it, and I, like, cover a whole block or some bullshit. And at the end, it's like, we save people 250 grand. We couldn't actually do it, though. It's way too expensive. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> It's all, to it's all your money too. It's all your money too, bitch. It's all your brain. It's like a YouTube video. Fucking dog shit. <laughs> it's a good idea. Oh, you're Just so dumb. Just let Mr. Beast do it. It's not a bad idea if we don't spend 250 grand. That was a big number. I was kidding about the numbers. Oh. The idea is still real though. The idea is great. Okay, so you've got your idea from. Use Nick. a weapon on yourself, you <laughs> and I hope it's lethal. <laughs> lethal weapon. Pick a only. weapon of your choice was, and use it on that yourself. That was Super's idea. Was torture. I don't think torture's real. Try torturing yourself. Oh, I like that. Put you in the stretch, the Gumby rack. That's what he said. Yeah. He said. Blaine already did this. Huh? 
David Blaine did this. Yeah, magicians don't yeah, count. I'm magicians doing, were YouTubers before YouTube. He got waterboarded. I'm doing well. That's the, what he wanted me to yeah, do too. No, that's because he he was in he was in. The on thing it. is, David Blaine just did that. I'm doing a hundred things, and the next thing is eat twenty seven cabbages from Max Mofo. Twenty seven cabbages. Yeah. <laughs> what? Why did? Why does he like cabbages? I don't know. That was his thing, slime. Oh. Some people have bad ideas. <laughs> don't point at I me when you say some people have bad ideas. You did, you did 100% inside. clearly motion your no, hand I towards this, I did this. I no, did this. Like, I, we all have bad ideas. Like straight like a, like a laser. <laughs> I didn't point at him. It's not like you, a, just like that. I, I, went, I went like this. No, you, know, you did like, the one I, before I went, that at him. We all have bad ideas. So my idea. <laughs> I hate you so much. <laughs> great idea with the parking. Yeah, the, Good idea is, we like the. Yeah, I like that idea. Should we maybe clap? Yeah. Because people, people need to they park. Need to park. They need to park. I hope I get dementia and forget all our memories. <laughs> I hope I forget that we were ever friends yeah, I want, forever. I want that for myself. <laughs> I, my idea, you, you genuinely, with the, with the help of a... <laughs> <laughs> well, it's so it's crazy just go with the it. help of a with the help of an assistant like a trained expert you genuinely continually fight larger and larger animals <laughs> and, and see which ones you can what beat self-respecting expert <laughs> will let their animals fight a human <laughs> because at some point because he to, to progress he has to win yeah you still no, no you start it like monkey <laughs> i'm killing and he the kills monkey. A monkey you don't have to kill the monkey how do you win you have to break its neck. <laughs> so you, okay, it dies if you do that. Hey, they die, bro. There's, they fucking die if I do that. <laughs> yeah, but it's like a capuchin monkey. Do I have to lose? And then it's oh, sumo rules is good. Oh, it's just knock him out of the ring? So, Wait, what do you, what do you show so us? Tough so I eventually. just pick up a cat and I go, ooh. Yeah, yeah. Like you win. You just take coots outside the circle and you win. Oh, and that's but then eventually yeah, you, you get to like bear, uh, yeah. and it's gonna be hard. I'm gonna <laughs> die. No, no. The bear is like declawed, defanged. <laughs> the bear is a mouth guard. This is such an and ill, like boxing uh, gear. This is an unethical. <laughs> who for who? The bear. <laughs> the bear. Yeah. Who you, oh, the bear who can speak and think. Oh, yeah. so they don't deserve rights. So now animals don't understand. Bear, you, you have a weird relationship with animals. They understand me because I speak their language. <laughs> you're just go, a bear. I you're saying a bear because we can't communicate with it. Doesn't deserve to live. You you think that you're going to be killing a bear and that's hilarious. No, no I'm worried about the declawing and de toothing okay, of a bear. Fine, and giving think, it boxing okay, gloves. Fine, you think my idea is so fucking stupid? Fine, a little person brothel. Yo, <laughs> I'll be real. It's not the worst idea for today. <laughs> <laughs> We made our little person brothel free for an entire day. <laughs> and let me tell you about the parking, because that's the best part. <laughs> I am quitting. I'm quitting. Have fun. Have fun doing whatever you do. All right, well, you got two bangers from two bangers. <laughs> Aiden. Man, Aiden, a lot of heat to follow up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think you should make one of those, those like, lengthy takedown videos that are in reply to economics explained and then Ooh. when he gives you a reply video to that video <laughs> my second idea is another reply video to that. <laughs> Wait, I, I, so you i'm giving you two videos that's so that's so beast i, I don't actually understand this side of youtube what is this and there's a channel called economics explained who will often make like he'll just make some video that has a bunch of errors in it and then Why somebody, China will and, take over? And he oh. just has a psych, He just has like the most exaggerated. Is this like the China's gonna fail in seventeen days, guy? No, he, he hasn't made one of those yet. No, he's done a couple has times. He? You've Can done you like pull the channels over? such is it, videos like that, but he's not like on the China yeah. is three days away, and it's like it's been that way for like ten years. Economics yep. explained is the channel. Yeah, and, and then, then and then there's this market of people making videos that correct his videos and then if that picks enough up enough traction then economics explained will reply with another video or like a comment and then you can make a reply video to that in a lot of ways he's like the keem star of economics youtube i would <laughs> like he'll just say some shit wow, and then people so will be like no nah, you're fucking wrong and they'll be like no nah, i'm not and then he so talks like views. that he just yeah, he just has a crazy accent too that i like to make fun of why you should be worried about China's debt crisis. MIT has predicted that society will collapse in 2040. 
They're like yeah. shit like this. But these are these are the big ones. They, like the the more granular ones. Can you go to the like recent? Hyperinflation is so already you can, here. You can make a forty minute video that's basically all actually. God, he makes and so he's much churning these money. out. Yeah, and, and look I, at the views. I think I think that genuinely it's one? like AI. I'm just really curious on the visuals. Is it just standing? Uh, it's pretty much all graphics and like stock footage, graphs. How is he churning these out? He's a team. He said it before. He's like a team of people that works on him. China. Yeah. You hear his voice? Oh yeah, there's that stock. That stock. Yeah. That's good oh, stock. handshaking, <laughs> chest moves. <laughs> yeah. Dude, this is so much stock footage. Dude, I know. I know. You can so so get in on this. That's expensive. Light bulb in a circle in space. So yeah, you basically replying replying to this guy is just like free okay, real estate. So I basically have to prepare a response for the live stream if your marble comes up and then do it. Yeah. So and you got to get get sharp. That talk, is a a, talk idea, about yeah. I talk about why Rwanda isn't the Singapore of Africa and then make it just fill it with 30 minutes of stock footage. 3 million views. One of your highest viewed videos ever. <sighs> Yeah, and like get shake and polite on just farming stock. Wow! <laughs> you should put that in any of your videos. Yeah, <laughs> we do need more stock footage. I've said it's to the guys. So cringe, dude. It's funny too, is I'll watch video essays. Not like this guy because I think he sucks, but like in general, I'll watch like economics videos or just like dry content. And I I do like having something to look at. I am a I am a children a child eating slop, and I'm like, yep. Cool. Yep. Guy looking at an iPad. I like that. I, guy I actually upset. Oh, watching oh, it without sound is so funny. I like this because I I like that the visuals don't matter because I just listen to them in the car. Yeah, I think uh, something I've seen a lot that's kind of cool is uh, like they just use instead of stock photos, just AI photos. Well, I forget what the the one service is that makes like somewhat realistic looking pictures, but it, AI is good at making a concept. Yeah, uh, it's just way cheaper as well visually than like mm. a stock photo uh, subscription yeah. or something like what that. What if what if we did a uh, a yard film festival, and then we did a stream where we all judged the movies? I think it'd be a great it, idea. Only mm. snuff films. I would love to do wow. that. Wow, <laughs> real <laughs> snuff films. Yeah, only the yard. We do the yard red room challenge. Red room challenge. Yeah, and we have to film this yeah. in like the Maldives in, because if it's, you only have twelve uh, hours, by NordVPN. We're, yes. <laughs> Yo, my goats. We're getting there. I think that'd be really cool. We should do that. It sounds fun. We should. Yeah, we should. I'm laughing because we say we'll do a lot, and we haven't done a lot. It's hard to do a what lot. What have we not done? Everything we IQ say we tests, do, I figure out. IQ do. tests. IQ tests, SAT. Yep. You guys are supposed to wear fucking animal costumes because I won the bet. I've been yep. thinking I need to What's order that? those. That's true. I forgot about that one. Yeah, you did forget yeah, about we do, that. We I, I don't anything I'm in charge of has happened. Yes. I'm, thinking, I'm forgetting about my W's. But sometimes we'll say something, and then it'll just fall into the ethos sphere. Yeah, I'll organize it. I'll do it. He'll shmeet. He'll do everything for us. And he'll do everything for us, except... I'll do it to you for com to completion. Statue <laughs> for me now. All the way to the end? All the way to the end. To the ass. Uh, do you think we'll ever Especially be able to communicate for? earnestly? <laughs> <laughs> we do communicate earnestly, but we just use different words. Yeah, and we right. cut it from uh, the show. Well, I mentally gaped for you, and I'll take and all we say your information. Rod the bears. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Rod the bears. It's all true. <laughs> Bubbin. Dubbin. Uh -huh. You are dumb. Yeah. Because you That's said true. you wanted to shave your head down to the ass. Yeah. Down to the butt ass. And now it's getting <laughs> to the butt ass and you can't do it anymore because now it's growing out and you don't want to keep this hairstyle. Down to your like head's crack. Fine. So you would do it still. Yeah, it's going to be one of the marbles. <laughs> oh my. Oh so you just go. You're going the video back to would Marbies. be shaving my head again? No, no, no. It's going to be doing a hundred YouTubers ideas and one of the ideas is go bald. Do you just run the marble once? But isn't the no, idea one of the marbles is end stream? So I keep going until I do all. Oh, it's not just video ideas. It's just ideas. It's ideas of stuff to do on stream. So it's basically like I asked. Oh, well, mine's not even a stream idea. Yeah, yours doesn't really work. Maybe you, I you should have, have clarified that. Maybe the, one of the marbles. You didn't, oh and that's my god! Insane. Didn't, he, so, didn't he say you guys are being you so to give me an idea for a video? Yes, yes. he said a video. Yes. You guys are being so crazy. No, yes. like you, you, really you all sound crazy. You just changed. You, you, you just changed. <laughs> you did change it. <laughs> Could one of the marbles be go to Aiden what to Namibia? 
Come with me. Go to with you to Namibia. Namibia. Yeah. Mustard on the Look, beat, bro. Let Pokemon go, bro. Can, can she said it a long time up, ago. Can you pull up a blank That's map? That's Morocco. It's so far away. No, They're you, so I, far I, away from each other. I know what you meant. Can uh, you pull up a blank map of the world? <laughs> and I want Aiden to point out Namibia. And if you do that... Yeah, I can point it out. I'll consider. You love playing GeoGuessr on this podcast. Yeah. I like GeoGuessr. Everyone thought that, the one game was going to be is well, it, yeah. one game's gonna be Geogus or Chess? It's right next to Kosovo. I do you it's think next to Costa Mesa? You do you think that people care about Geoguesser? Oh, on this podcast. Did, 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 you do this, this all podcast? the time. Oh, like this section trying of the to podcast. Beat Aiden to identify a country. It was the and most me and Nick have to sit here will, and okay, look at our we, dicks. we could skip it, but the Kosovo was the most talked about section. It's true. It was highly discussed. Because you guys argued for so long. People highly discussed. We don't argue about anything on the show to be the most discussed in an episode. Let's it make... is a tidbit. It is a tidbit. <laughs> oh, it's a donut? It's a munchkin. It's a donut hole? Duncan made the Canada's it. Are, the Canadians are mounting on their horses right now to charge the studio. All right. Eamon has gotten up and he's pointing at what if, if this, if the bottom of Africa was a penis, it would be <laughs> beneath the head uh, of the go penis. Go to the very bottom with your mouse zip. Very bottom with your mouse and left. off left. That one is what he's pointing at. That, that one right that there. One. Yep. Is that Namibia? Yeah. I got no fucking clue to be honest. I only yeah, know South so, Africa. So if and you Botswana. get the marble, you have to go with me. You go to with Amen. That's and Namibia. You... Wow. He All knows right. his shit. It would be insane to want to go there this bad and plan a trip there and not know where it is. True. That does feel like the Ludwig. You know what's funny as but well? But you do that with, like, baristas you meet all the time in their house. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know where that is, but you want to go there, like, really bad. And, like, meet them and their dog and their I mom, I think we probably. might go to a soccer game together. Me and the people at that coffee shop. That is so funny. Oh, the, me the messy game? Uh, uh, nothing. We didn't have anything specific in mind. Well, is the messy, messy coming here? the hot one. Messi's coming to LA. The Everyone's normies are talking about out. it. The Ooh. normies are grumbling right The normies? Now. There's a grumbling amongst the normies. The normies love Messi. The and debatably, the non norm I, I think would just say everybody the world likes him. loves Messi. Yeah. Or Cristiano Ronaldo. I, I, I could dust either. And what? <laughs> Soccer. Yeah, you could <laughs> kick the ball better. Yeah, I could yeah. do everything all the better. I do like you that. think against a professional goalkeeper, you would score from, uh, let's say from the 18 yard line? Wait, how, far, PK? how far away is the PK? PK. PK, well, the 18 yard line is the top of the box, but if oh. you want to do PK, okay, from the PK, <sighs> make, make it easier for you. The top of the box would be pretty don't, hard. Don't say make it easier for you. I mean, I, well, I was going to say 18 yard line, people shoot from there too, but I'm like, I'll make it easier from, for you. So from the outside of the box. It's P a PK because. PK is like, of course. I feel like you make one. That's why I made it a little more difficult. <laughs> because but, but, Messi was running by you and he sack tapped you, dropped you instantly. <laughs> professional. Card. Okay, from the PK line, professional goalkeeper, you kick 100 balls. How many go in? Oh man! From PK, one hundred PK. PK. I think balls. maybe like twenty. Pa twenty percent. No. Bahumbug. Twenty out of a hundred. Bahumbug. I think that's fair. Uh you I kick played, it. I played soccer. If I was like a, if yeah. I never played the sport, like bro, it. you hit it on the top of the goal. I thought about this. If you aim your ball on the top of the goal, it goes above the guy, and then it goes in the net. What if it jumps? Goalkeepers are taller. What they can you? reach the top. But you do it to the side as well. So you're just you're you saying just upper V. Out. You're yeah, saying yeah. top corn, not the not corn, <laughs> but you go to the top right. middle right, I and you what? and you hit it really. No, let him have this. Do you hit it hard or soft? You hit it oh, so hard. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Because yeah. it goes faster. And you make sure you don't make it go over the goal. If it goes over, that's bad. So uh -huh. if you aim it perfectly with per and you hit it as hard as you possibly can, are you kicking it or they throwing can't. it? You can't block it. You could. <laughs> uh, it, zipper, it. zipper, can you uh, can you on YouTube and type in um, goalkeeper scorpion save? I want to show Anthony oh. what goalkeepers can do. Goalkeepers is this, this is like cool. what Trinity does in the beginning of the second yeah. Matrix movie? It's yeah. Very, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I'm talking about? It's the big yes. move, right? No, in the second Matrix movie, after the motorcycle, you dumb bastard. Go to wait. Get his ass. Hey, bark at him. Yeah, this is it. Okay. Uncut a messy. Uncut a messy. Okay, I can do that. Everyone can do that. You could never do could that given do that. a million tries. Anyone can do what that, that beautiful man did. <laughs> Who looks like Frank Zappa. Yeah, he's like, yup. Yeah, he's <laughs> like, me. I'm the guy, bro. <laughs> That's crazy. That's so sick. Yes, I can do that. Yes, if it were you and me, 
Dude, oh my god, you're not getting through, bro. You're getting filtered, bitch. I score a hundred out of a hundred on you. No, because no, I know don't. you're gonna shoot to the top right. That's your strategy. I don't think you can I, jump up. The that thing far. is, he blocks one, then he walks off. Yeah. I think if I put them bottom goal on either side at a moderate speed, he would not hit there. How about this? He dive? Times in a How row? about this? Yes, I can dive. I'm arguably more athletic than all of you right now. Yeah, it's true. I don't think that's not true. Not at soccer. I want one kick, one goal kick, $10,000. I block, I get it, you score, you get it. Now, <sighs> who's, who's sucking who? Is Wait, this for you asking, PK? If you're, yeah. that, you're asking if that, does that change it's my confidence? PK, yeah. It's one kick. Ooh, he could just whiff. Ah, I could just I, whiff. That's the scary part. I, I, I yeah. could whiff the shot. I only need to get lucky once. to do with you. Wow. Yeah, or he could now do... Now what? Oh, no, it's, so worth. Call, Clarice. it's so worth, though. I don't think it's worth. Yeah, I don't think it's worth. What's your question? Your question is, do I think I score it? Yeah. What are your chances? If, I think my chances are the same. Wait, if you have That's one, insane. No, your you chances go down because you're more nervous. You're more nervous. Know. I guess if you, you are more nervous. If you have 100 yeah. kicks, as the kicker, you have more pressure. Yeah. It's kind of like it's the end of the one Mr. Beast video, like the World Cup one or the whatever Olympics one. Mm. They did the soccer thing and you mm -hmm. can see the nerves were there because they're fucking ass. Do I have to go right now? No practice kicks yeah, yeah, and just yeah, take yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. yeah we have oh, to like, we, worse. We go outside. outside. You're not like going. If I got like 10 kicks to warm up no, and then no, I could no, kick, no, no, then no. I would be like kick, fresh, freedom. Fresh. Mm. That's scarier. Mm -hmm. That's scary. It's but, a fresh but, kick. But you have nothing to do with that equation. But do you t yeah, I know. I'm, could, I'm revealing could, your weaknesses to yourself. There could be yourself. A, a baby in the goal, and I'd still be like, shit, I haven't kicked soccer Yeah, ball. because you're wow. weak. Because you, you're, you're never I ready. Don't, I've you don't get ready. I've I, seen you try to kick a soccer ball, and you can't. I've seen yeah. you try it. That's true. I need yes, a couple. this happened at the yeah, Mr. Beast studio. I need a couple, but I, <laughs> I wouldn't have to kick anything. We did it. And I'm allowed to use my hand. Did we, yeah. What was the bet? We had you had three had tries three to juggle the ball three times. He's wearing bad shoes. He was wearing bad shoes. You don't don't hit me with the it's I don't my fallings on. I can't times. kick flip with these. <laughs> I was wearing bad shoes. He needed right. the Copas. Bad you guys shoes. and Carl Jacobs were like playing fucking soccer together, like a couple of Europeans, pissing me off. I don't want to see that. It's the beautiful game. It is a beautiful game. The sweet science. Mm. They call it. Mm. Why do you why do you look like a crew member? Like who's I'm just like wearing a all truck? black. I'm just wearing all because I'm going on my motorcycle today. I'm going on a ride. Really? And he wants to be as low visibility as possible when it gets to night. Well, yeah, when night comes, he wants to be the invisible rider. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and he, and he, speeds, ride at night. he speeds around the interstate going 100. <laughs> I found out my neighbor died in a motorcycle accident. What did you say? I found out today that the earth spins like uh, once a day. What are you talking about? What? what my neighbor you? died in a motorcycle accident. Your oh, neighbor? Yeah. That's so That's sad. sad. Yeah, it is. They had a motorcycle as well? Yeah. And they... They died. You gotta be really? careful. They died, and it's the worst because I found out uh, and from, from my neighbor, and they were like, yeah, they died, and it was not their fault at all. <laughs> and then they were like, saw you driving a motorcycle, and I was like... <laughs> That's insane to say to someone who's like, hey, you, you have one of those. Guess you will never <laughs> believe what happened today. Yeah. <laughs> That's the Reaper coming to warn you <laughs> they, in the form they, of your yeah. shit. I'm, you and Zipper sell your shit. I can't do it. <laughs> Zipper's like, nah. I will ride across Nihongo. Oh my God. Are you I, still doing that? Yeah. I thought you weren't. Why? Because you said you weren't. No, I didn't. Wrong. I, wanna, it, I will defend. Ah. What are you going to Japan for? Is that a different thing? Yeah. You're going to Japan soon. Yeah. For an RV trip. Dude, you ate all of these, you fucking fat No, I didn't. Sow. I had like seven. Dude, they're <laughs> gone. I had six, <gasps> bro. Timbit. Oh Can I have the last Timbit? Yeah, the last Timbit. It's crazy that you, you waxed them off Call like it a munchkin. That. Munchkin. Say it's a munchkin. Say it's a munchkin now. It's Timbit. Ooh. <laughs> He just reaches in there like a kid who ate a Lego. Spit it out. Spit it out. What do you have in your mouth? What do you have in your mouth? Bad boy. Open. All right. Well, hey, that's the Yard Podcast for today. Goodbye. Shut the fuck up, Ludwig. Goodbye. Goodbye. All right, goodbye. All right, come in. And it's five different books that make up the Hitchhiker's Guide to... Who asked? Who asked? Girl. Girl who asked? You know, so look, <laughs> I just pick a book that it was we my have. father's favorite. That's great. 
That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> he was really tall, I heard. <laughs> no. You what? said he was.